I'm Dia. I'm a singer from Toronto, Canada. I love languages, culture, and travel. My whole life, I've waited for the perfect time to finally visit my motherland, Italy. With a global pandemic and a rare open summer schedule, I decided it was the perfect time to go. So, I booked a one-way ticket with no itinerary and nothing really planned, except for the fact that I was finally going to Italy. Now we're heading out to Matera. This is a UNESCO heritage site. Basically, all the homes built into caves. So I'm really excited to see this. And also, on the way there, there's not a whole lot. We're driving through a lot of flatlands. This is gonna be super cool. Okay, so Matteo booked this place. No, there must be. Qua. No. While examining tonight's accommodations, the search for the fridge continues. This is our room. That's the TV. What is this? Oh my god! It's in a cave! We are in a cave. Qua? No. Still no fridge. Oh my god, this is incredible. I actually can't believe this. Have you ever seen anything like this? Bathtub, cave. This is insane. But wait, there's more. So we've been looking for the fridge. Where is it? Oh, oh, here it is. Whoa, funky! Well, aside from being extremely impressed with the interior, there's only one way it could get better. Matera. I'm speechless. I have never seen anything like this before. I've seen Matera in photos, but I've never, obviously never been here, but... <sighs> wow. This is crazy. We had to walk maybe a thousand steps and turns and curves to get here. We planned this so we've got our focaccia barese here. I'm starving. I'm weak, like I'm shaking. I can't wait to eat this. I'm so hungry. Yum, yum, yum. No balcony aperitivo is complete without Terra di Briganti wine. It's incredible. Incredibile. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Questa è la chiesa. Now that we're refueled, yeah. it's time to explore the city. Come bella, come bella. Catino. Nisho. Matera is located in the Basilicata region of Italy. It's believed to be the third oldest town in the world, which makes it the perfect place to shoot films like Passion of the Christ and 007's No Time to Die. Fun fact, the oldest part of Matera has been inhabited for over 7,000 years. It was evacuated in the late 1950s by the Italian government because of the unsanitary living conditions. For many years, the people who lived in Matera wanted to forget their history. But with interest from archaeologists and intellectuals and becoming a UNESCO heritage site in 1993, the city has been thriving. And you can see why. These are interesting. They're like little step steps. Wow. <laughs> cool. Stairs everywhere. They should call Italy the land of stairs because it's all it is. Stairs and cobblestones. And if you're wearing shoes that are not like this or any way closed and secure and or open, but secure and flat, you are out of your mind. I dare you to walk down these streets in stilettos. I dare you, I dare you. With the assumption that our maps probably wouldn't work in these tiny little alleys, we used our senses to get to the church. And I gotta say, it's pretty easy to get lost here. Golden hour and a sunset. Absolutely serene.
The energy here was so powerful and enchanting. I stood and looked over the ledge without saying a word. I was very inspired and completely in awe of the beauty and spirit of Matera. And I certainly wasn't the only one. It's truly spectacular. I really have never seen anything like this. I want to show you guys this grissino. It's a breadstick. I think it's basil. It looks like a twig. Look how big it is. From fingertip to elbow. I have a funny story. I asked for a vodka soda and they were like, huh? It's like vodka and soda. And they're like, they didn't get it. I'm like, okay, acqua frizzante. Like, give me some bubbly water and put vodka in it. That's it. I just want something simple and clean. It was a four minute conversation that led to nowhere and I ended up drinking a gin and tonic, as we say. It's too sweet for me, but I do it anyway, it's fine. The reality is, if you're not drinking a gin and tonic... Gin and tonic, gin tonic. Okay. The reality is, if you're not drinking a gin tonic, you ain't in Italy. This is how they do. Gin tonic, sempre. Sempre. Strong. And this is what Matera looks like at night. Ciao, Gatino! So granted, it's 1.15 on a Tuesday, but it's quiet. It's beautiful. And I mean quiet. I'm going to sleep in a cave. I'm about to sleep in a cave. A cave, a cave. I'm sleeping in a cave. I'm gonna sleep in a cave. The next morning, we had a special visitor to send us on our way and bid us farewell. Buongiorno. Where are you going? Oh. Ciao, ciao. Matera gave us an amazing breakfast to fuel us for our long day ahead. Adesso andiamo alla spiaggia Togo Bay. We're basically in a desert attached to the beach. Oh my god, look at the beach. Togo Bay is a gorgeous beach club located in Porto Cesareo, Salento. Perfect day to enjoy a nice iced espresso on the white sandy beach. This is truly paradise. It's been so long since I've been to a beach, especially like this. I just can't even. Like... Look at the water. It's so nice. So apparently this iPhone can go underwater, but I'm actually terrified to do it. But I'm not terrified to hold it here. Do we trust it? I don't know. It's so fresh. I'm scared to dunk it. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna do it, but I will hold it like this. The water is so clear. The sound, just the sound. What's better than being in the water? <laughs> it's coming back. Bye bye bye. Bra <laughs> Abi. Or just casually looking at a beat. Oh no! No no! Don't die! I'm gonna save you. Huge. Little guy was soaked in wine. He's probably hammered by now, but he's gotta clean off his legs. Clean him. I know, sandy butt. This thing is huge though. Okay, I'm done with saving bees for the day. It's time to put the bathing suits away and head over to the next sunset in the gorgeous city of Gallipoli. Uh, parking only takes small coins, which is insane. And Mateo is going to figure that out, and I'm taking a cart to the hotel. It was quite a process to get this parking situation figured out, but I took the bags and met Mateo back at the hotel. Believe it or not, it actually took longer to drive there than to walk because of the nature of the roads. Rest assured, perché? La gente guarda a me Nobody is looking at me, they're all looking at him. I can't argue with that. Matteo's got the fits. He knows. Allora. Dinner time. Absolutely delicious. Limon. The streets are packed, the stores are full, and people are excited to be out. Gallipoli is gorgeous. The breakfast was also stunning. Check out this honeycomb. Mm. Puglia, you've been amazing so far, but we're not done with you yet. On the next episode of Going to Italy, we're beach hopping all throughout Otranto and try the most delicious fresh fish you'll ever see. You won't want to miss it.